Hey, uh, this is Bob Owen with Ozark Cedar Hives. Uh, we're excited about introducing our new War 8 hive. And so I thought we'd make this video to explain uh, how we've made it, our version of the War 8 hive, and show you the features and uh, so you can see what we've got. <laughs> we have two different styles. Uh, this one is uh, without windows, and the other one we'll look at in a minute has uh, glass windows in the back side of it. I've got the windows really turned around to the front right now, but obviously you'd want to put them in the back. We use the same, uh, start at the bottom, we use the same type of uh, bottom board as the Langstroth Hive uh, with the screen uh, bottom for the mites, uh, the debris board, planting board, uh, and so uh, this is for mite control. So it's the same bottom board really as our regular Langstroth Hives. Uh, we decided to make the width the same as our 8 frame Langstroth, so that way a lot of my pieces are the same, the setups and the machines are very similar, and it's very, very close to what the Warre uh, dimensions are anyway. So of course we kept that, it's a square box, 14 and a quarter wide. Uh, we've used, uh, if you can see it, we went ahead and used full inch uh, lumber. Uh, that The idea of the Warre Hive is really to to uh, imitate a tree, uh, the bees in a tree, and so we thought, well, we'll give a little bit more wood there to give more insulation uh, buffer to the cold and, and the winter and the heat in the summer. So it's a full inch, really solid box. Uh, the uh, top bars are cedar also, uh, just with the popsicle stick type. Of course, this is a cedar trim from from our it's a it's a quarter inch thick I think and so these are our top bars that we're making for it I've also uh, been working with some uh, frames I just taken some deep frames and uh, cut them down and so if you, you would like to work with the honey extracting uh, maybe you could use something like this uh, just to also that makes me think the depth of the box is also the same as a hive body so the frames uh, fit the same so it's uh, this frame would go in there just like that instead of the top bars <coughs> the uh, so I'll, I'll look at the the roof and the quilt uh, the way I've adapted the quilt into the top uh, to the to the to the roof uh, it's actually all one piece so uh, what we've done then is uh, this is of course like I say the roof but within this is made the uh, quilt box there's uh, a screen wire, eighth inch screen wire here but uh, on top of that is uh, the burlap like a regular quilt and uh, so of course the screen wire keeps the bees from eating it up and then the burlap's there to, to, to have your quilt <clears throat> and so it's all one piece uh, rather than have a separate quilt box and then a lid that fits over it. Uh, to uh, load up your quilt in the winter time with sawdust or shavings, uh, just to take out that one piece there, and then you can put in, and I measured out two gallons of shavings will fit in there and then level out to fill up your, your quilt in here on top of the burlap. And then on the ends, of course, We've got the vents and of course screen wire so nothing can get in there, but that lets uh, the quilt air out so that, that the, the burlap and then the cedar will wick up the moisture out of the hive and then out the vents. So let's look at the uh, windows. Uh, <clears throat> as I mentioned, this I've got them on the front, but obviously you do want to put them on the back so you can inspect it. But, all the boxes then, of course, would have a window, and uh, the glass goes the full width of the box. Uh, this is real glass, quarter inch thick. I didn't want to use plexiglass because you know I wouldn't didn't think well you're not going to be able to clean it off. You're not going to be able to scrape it. Uh, plexiglass is going to scratch really bad, and it'll even yellow after a time. So this is it's heavy. It's, uh, but it's glass, so you can clean it with anything you want to clean it with or scrape it with a razor blade sort of a tool, and so you can clean it periodically. Uh, and 
and that way you can and that's of course the design of the warrior hive sometimes people that don't want to look at you know open up their hives a lot they can look in and see how they're doing and know when to add boxes or how, how they're doing um, the most of the setups I went ahead and listed the hives with four boxes now of course if you want less you can ask for less boxes uh, but I imagine by the time you get a package of bees in there and pretty soon they're going to want to fill up all four boxes so anyway that's our uh, worry hive uh, you can look at them on ozarkcedarhives.com we're going to have a page in there under products and uh, and if you're interested in a worry hive i think this is going to be a really nice solid one and it'll serve your purposes very well uh, thank you from ozark cedar hives god bless